Yo, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. If you've been rocking with me, leave a subscription, leave a comment, leave a like on my channel, you know what I'm saying? Share this video. You know, I know I've been I, I've been MIA for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I've been working and shit, trying to, you know, stack up my increments. Staying out the way, you know what I'm saying? Let these fuck niggas have their little wave for the minute, but you know I'm back, man. And I'm going to try to stay consistent with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I be saying shit, and I don't really be going through with it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be capping, you know? So, you know, I'm going to try to um stick with the little YouTube shit, man. Man, this video right here is going to be about FBG Cash, man. You know? 31 years of age, shot and killed today. Friday morning, well, today. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just give my input on the whole little ordeal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to give my whole little input. Like, first off, before I get deeper into the video, I want to say my condolences go out to his family, his mother, kids, whoever whoever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, his loved ones. My condolences go out to him. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish that shit on nobody, especially a motherfucker like him that I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Because some people be... Some motherfuckers out here be praying on the motherfucker downfall. You know what I'm saying? They be waiting for some shit to happen to you so they can celebrate it. You know what I'm saying? Pop bottles and do all types of other shit. You know, you know what I mean? But it's fucked up, bro. It's fucked up, man. They hit that boy up bad. You know? They hit him up with a rifle. They hit him up bad. But my whole input on this shit, bro, I feel bad. But at the same time, it's like, bro. If you know what type of nigga Cash was, bruh, all that feeling bad shit down the, that shit down the drain, bruh. And I ain't even gonna count. I ain't even finna come on here and front my move like, wow. Nah, Cash had some good ass music. You know what I mean? He was a talented artist. But people tend to forget these niggas in the streets. Motherfucker get killed, people. Oh my God, why him? Why they had to kill him? Do you forget? The motherfucker who got killed is in the streets. They participating in this shit willingly. So they already they should already know what the fuck come with this shit, nigga. If you don't have plans to get out this shit, bro, you either go, bro, you going you going to jail, folk, you going to prison, or you gonna get your ass killed out here. If you're not trying to better yourself and get the fuck up out this shit, get your money, do what the fuck you gotta do and get up out this shit, bro, if you can. See, Cash, Cash had an opportunity. Uh, bro, a lot of these niggas have opportunities. A lot of these rap niggas who get killed, niggas have opportunities. Like King Von. That nigga was rich. Bro, he had so many opportunities to get up out the hood. It's niggas in the hood right now who wish they had $10,000 to relocate to a different city and start over. You know what I'm saying? Get their motherfucking life together. Niggas like Cash and all them, bro, when they got signed back in 2018 by Sony. Duck looked out for them, you know what I'm saying? Or Duck Dad, one of them, whatever the fuck the case was. These niggas got money. FBG, bro, they was up on the bag. And I don't understand, like, bro, if you up that much money, what the fuck is you still doing? It participating in the street shit, like, it's 2012 or something, 2013. Bro, you should have been got up out that shit, bro. You got 10 racks, 20 racks, 50 racks, 100 racks. Dead niggas getting a little PPP loans and shit, bro. You niggas, bro, niggas out here wasting their money on bullshit. They be right back to square one when they broke. And on the same note, bro, see Cash, bro, the type of nigga Cash was, bro. He was a funny motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He used to talk a lot of shit about people, you know? Like, he used to talk hella shit about people, like... Man, people from his own hood, people from the hoods that fuck with his hood and all types of shit, like types of shit, bro. He was a like he was a jokester, you know what I mean? He always wanted to clown people. And you know what else, bro? On some real shit. I had a feeling that boy was gonna get clapped, like no funny shit or nothing like that. This was like probably like earlier this year, bro. I just had like a deja vu moment. And I just felt that like, yeah, he man, somebody like he was Somebody gonna get up with him. I ain't know when. I ain't know who was gonna do it, but I had that feeling like, bruh, the way he going, the path he taking, bruh, it's only a matter of time, bruh. 
See, niggas out here move like they untouchable. Niggas out here move like they can't get killed. Nobody can't rob them. Nobody can't do this, do that to them until it happen. And once you, once you dead, bro, it's over with. Ain't no coming back, nigga. Once you're dead, once the coroner come and pick your motherfucking body up from the scene or the doctor, I mean the hospital, it's over. You can't come back, bro. It's over. You can't come back to life and motherfucking... Change your mistakes and try to make your life right. See, bro, when niggas get shot at and they don't get hit and all this shit, bro, that should be your opportunity. Like, bro, maybe God trying to tell me something. Maybe God trying to sit me down for a minute and humble me and show me a different way. Because the way a lot of these niggas going, bro, they, bro, they going to end up killed or in jail, bro. I be telling motherfuckers, if you don't have a purpose in the streets... If you don't have a purpose in the streets and you out here just bullshitting like a lot of these niggas doing, you're gonna get you you gonna get killed. You gonna end up getting killed. You gonna end up in jail for the rest of your life, or you gonna end up in there for a long bit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers already know how that shit go, bro. This shit don't matter. People move. They be trying to impress people. Do these people know when you really go to jail? Even if you ain't doing a long time, I swear to God, you go to jail right now. Whoever watching this, you go to jail right now. You don't tell nobody how long you doing. And they only might give you a week, a month. Bro, motherfuckers gonna forget you like that. Nigga, ain't nobody gonna be putting no motherfucking money on your books. Probably your girl, your mama, at that, your brother. Probably somebody like that. These niggas and bitches out here, bro, y'all trying to impress. Trying to make them think y'all really like that. Bro, they're not gonna be there. You gonna be in a cold-ass jail cell. In a prison yard, nigga, for the rest of your fucking life, living in a living in a fucking 10 by 12. A, they gonna give you a 10 by 12 cell, bruh. Then you gonna be shit out of luck. Then niggas gonna be wishing, damn, bro, I wish I woulda did shit different. I wish I wanna did that. Why I wish I could take that day back. Bruh, as long as you out here in the free world and you don't have a purpose in this shit, bruh, you're not out here getting money. You ain't out here really trying to get your lick back. You out here just clowning around and bullshitting, bro. You already know what the end result is, bro. And I'm pretty sure Cash knew that shit, too. He knew that shit was coming, bro. He knew it was coming, bro. And, like, not for only him, a lot of niggas know it's coming for them. But they don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Nigg niggas so fucking, they don't care no more. A lot of these people don't care no more. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about that shit, bro. They don't care about how they kids gonna feel when you get killed or locked up. That's the thing, too. I don't get why niggas who got kids out here, why they still in the street, bro. Once you had kids, bro, that should be your cue to get a, get the fuck up out this shit, bro. And I'm gonna keep it 100. If you out here bullshitting, bro, if you still out here on some teenager shit, still on the block hanging, doing all this fuck shit, and you got kids growing up under you, bro. You, 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 you was a goofy. I ain't even gonna count you a goofy for that. You know what I'm saying? A real nigga gonna put his kids first. And he gonna think about them. What my kids gonna think if I get killed out here? What my kids gonna think if I get locked up? You know what I'm saying? They ain't never gonna have no contact with you again or nothing. You know what I'm saying? This nigga's in prison right now. Right now, who got kids? Who damn near sitting that bitch crying every day? Asking God, why, man? I just want to go on to my kids. But when niggas was out here on the street and goofing around and trying to be a jokester and doing all this fuck shit, they weren't thinking about that. Because niggas don't think it can happen to them until it do. You know, like, see the type of nigga Cash was, bruh. If I was if I was one of them niggas from, from, uh, from over there, from they hood, from they block or a, affiliate, I wouldn't even trust that nigga, bruh. See, Cash, bro, he was a snake ass nigga, bro. I don't care what nobody say, bro. His action showed it all. That shit, he showed it, bro. And I can give plenty of examples for one. Nigga, when Lil J, before Lil J got out, when Lil J was just locked up, bro. Even you had Cash, you know what I'm saying? He was gay. He was in there doing all types of gay shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and say I believe this shit because I don't know. I wasn't in there. I wasn't in there, so I can't I can't get my input on that gay shit with Lil J. Ain't no dick riding ass nigga, no bandwagon, go along, get along ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like that. If one person say it, ten people say it, they gonna believe it and run with it. 
nigga like me, I gotta look for um. I gotta look in the shit. I gotta I gotta find real sources and look look. I gotta um take shit in for myself and not let nobody manipulate me into thinking it's that. Cause whole time motherfuckers be lying on people. I'm not saying Lil J innocent from the gay shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I wasn't in there with him. I'm not gonna speak on that shit like I know what the fuck happened. I'm j I just know what people saying about him, you know what I'm saying? It's on homies, everybody saying that shit about him. You know what I'm saying? But if look, if you cash and Lil J your man's, why you gonna get on the interview, get on YouTube and do all this shit and throw dirt on your man's name? You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I can't name none Lil J did to cash. Nigga Cash, he was just sneak this and Billy not too long ago. Them niggas used to clown Billy and all that shit. Now they back cool. I don't know what type of weird shit niggas be having going on. They they fall out, then get back cool. I'm not with that shit, bro. I'm not with that goofy ass shit. If a nigga fall out with you and he you put your business out there and y'all get back cool, you a fuck nigga just like him. A real nigga gonna take that shit and run with it. Oh, we fell out. Woo wop, you put my shit on the internet. You talking about me on the internet, man. Fuck you. I'm not finna get back cool with no nigga who was just talking shit about me and saying all this and that, bruh. No, that's bitch nigga shit, bruh. That's like copping a plea for And I'ma also get my input on if I think FBG over with. I'ma keep it a hundred. Like, I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying to clown niggas or nothing. Like, I'm this real shit, though. This real, this real nigga shit. Bruh, that shit over with, bruh. It ain't, it, it really ain't no more FBG. Without duck, it really ain't no more FBG, bro. Y'all, nigga, y'all don't fuck with Lil J, nigga. Lil J, the ones who really put y'all niggas on for real, for real. Even before Duck came out and did his own shit, nigga, it was Lil J. Lil J been had that shit, bro. A lot of these motherfuckers, a lot of these new people who new to this drill shit, they don't even know about Lil J for real. Because a lot of these people just now getting tapped in with this shit 2018, 2019 type shit like a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? They don't really they don't really go way back. Lil J put them niggas on for real. It was Lil J and Duck, bro. But when Lil J got locked up, Duck started doing his own shit and he turned them up for real. But real niggas know. Real niggas know who been tuned in. Lil J been doing this shit. He been hitting 5 million, 10 million views on his bad self. You know what I'm saying? He been doing this shit bad self. 2012, 2013, 2014, nigga. I was only like 12 years old back then. You know what I'm saying? All we listen to is Lil J now. You know what I'm saying? Stay playing their motherfucking music. Didn't nobody listen to nobody else from FBG until Duck came out with that Slad song. And he got that deal. And that's when people start tuning in to the rest of FBG. Nigga, wasn't nobody fucking with the rest of them, bruh. I can't name one nigga who was listening to it. any, any of, uh, bruh. I can't name one nigga who was listening to any of them FBG niggas besides Duck and Lil J. And I'm talking about back in the day. Not today. Not, not in today's days. Back in the day. 2012, 2011, 2013. When the drill shit first took off. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody... Really tuned in to that shit. Unless they just got tuned in now. So that shit over with, bro. It ain't no more FBG, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas sneak dissing each other and cussing niggas' mamas out. And you feel me? Niggas getting killed and locked up, bro. Come on, man. Fuck it look like if five new motherfuckers, six new motherfuckers come and be a part of FBG. Man, ain't nobody gonna know who the fuck they is, bro. Some unknown ass niggas who ain't been around for this shit when it first took off, nigga. I know Duck knew them. I know Lil J know. You know what I'm saying? Them the niggas who really took off with that FBG shit, who was repping that shit hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, what's the full name? Uh, Billionaire Black. That's it, bro. The rest of them niggas wasn't making no fucking noise. I'm telling you. And I'm not even trying to diss niggas. But if niggas got a problem with what the fuck I'm saying, then that's on them. They gonna have to press that shit. But I don't have an issue. I'm speaking real shit. And that's the truth. A nigga can take it how he want to, bruh. 
A lot of these people out here, bro, they, they think like, oh, God going to give me a pass. God won't let that happen to me. You you would think that until this shit happen. And then you're going to be sitting back looking stupid as hell. Like, damn, it really happened. Damn, I really got life in this motherfucker. Damn, I really just got popped up. If you lucky to live, you know what I'm saying? And if a nigga got that mindset, a nigga going to be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never think it happened to me until it did. You know, but like I said, man, um, as I get more details about this shit, bro, I'm going to keep y'all updated and all that good shit. But, um, yeah, man, stay tapped in with me. You know what I'm saying? If you've been fucking with me, continue to fuck with me. If you new, subscribe, leave a like. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. I'm out this motherfucker, man, gang, gang.